guys welcome back to my channel i am so excited to bring you guys this video because i feel like when you buy a vacuum cleaner it really means you are an adult or at least the amount of money i've spent on this vacuum cleaner i feel like i've definitely made it or something and i wanted to share this video with you guys today for those of you guys that don't know who i am hello hi how's it going my name is anika and i'm an american living in london and i've actually recently just done another video all about a different vacuum cleaner which is the bissell pro heat 2x revolution carpet cleaner for any pet owners if you guys want to see that video i'll make sure to link it up in the cards for you right now but today i am bringing you a different vacuum cleaner which is the dyson v15 detect absolute oh my gosh i am so excited that i purchased this vacuum cleaner i have been looking at dyson vacuum cleaners for quite some time now if you guys didn't know i'm a big fan of dyson i actually bought the dyson air wrap last christmas i vlogged it i shared it here on my youtube channel if you guys want to check out any of my other dyson videos i'll make sure to link it up in the cards and of course down in the description below but I did actually make the big purchase of the Dyson V15, which is the latest in the Dyson vacuum cleaners. It is the newest. I think it's only been out for a few months here in the UK. And just as a disclaimer, I did not get sent this vacuum cleaner from Dyson. Actually, I totally wish I did. So Dyson, if you guys are watching this, sponsor me or reach out. I love your products. But I did pay for this all by myself. I paid 600 pounds for this little baby here. And I'm really excited to open it up and showcase it with you guys today and show you guys what's in the box. I've never owned a vacuum cleaner at this price range and I've also never owned a cordless vacuum cleaner. I've always had to plug it in. So I'm really excited to try it out. And also this is the latest and greatest, the newest technology. It's very similar to the V11, but it's the V15 motor and the V15 Detect, which has a lot of new fancy features that I'll go over. Now, like I said before, this is the most amount of money I have ever spent on a vacuum cleaner i have done a fair bit of research before actually purchasing this vacuum cleaner i was very torn between the v11 the v15 which is the one i got and then also the outsize i actually even went into the dyson store on oxford street they have like a demo store where you can actually try out all of these vacuum cleaners and really understand the difference and i was really really considering getting the outsize but when i was holding it in my hands at the Dyson store. I'm a very short person. I'm 5'1". It was just a really big vacuum cleaner for me. And the guy at the Dyson store let me know that the V15 or the V11 is kind of designed for houses that are three, four, up to maybe five bedrooms. And you get up to 60 minutes of runtime on this vacuum cleaner. So he said it would be perfect for me. I don't really need the outsize. I mean, I know a lot of bigger American homes like the outsize because it's like a longer battery life. And it also has a really big bin on it so that when you collect all the dust and dirt, you don't have to empty the bin as much as you do with the smaller versions. But to be honest, I think that for most UK households or London households, this vacuum cleaner will probably be quite big enough and 60 minutes runtime is quite a lot for everyday cleaning and even if you were to clean the whole house I don't think you would actually be hoovering for 60 minutes but once I actually did hold the outsized vacuum cleaner I quickly realized that it is way too big and just too bulky for me as a small human obviously if you're taller maybe it'll work for you but I just thought that it was better for me to go with the regular size or the v11 or the v15 so once I narrowed it down to the v11 or v15 I then decided that I would get the v15 because it has the latest and greatest technology and there are a few differences that I'll go into in this video that'll showcase the difference between the v11 and the v15 so let's go ahead and unbox this and I'll talk you guys through that so guys as I unbox this I just want to talk about a few different things that are different between the v11 and the v15 and why I went for the v15 so when I went into store, I really tested this new laser technology that's new to the Dyson. And basically what it is, it's a new laser technology with the hard floor attachment, but that is what makes a difference between the V11 and the V15. It has a new laser technology, but let's actually see what's inside the box. First thing here that I see is actually the wand. So let's open that. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Throw this away. Oh wow, look at this. 
This is actually the long wand that you then attach to the main motor of the vacuum cleaner and then all the attachments at the end here. The next thing in the box, I think it looks like some of the typical attachments that you get with the Dyson. So the first attachment that I see is a very typical attachment for Dyson. I think it comes in the V11 as well. It's the crevice tool that you can go ahead and get into corners with, which is really great. The next thing in here is actually quite an interesting tool. So what you have here is you can slide this up and down. And when you slide it up and down, what you'll see is that there is a way to pick up any additional debris just through the plastic bit. But if you want it to really deep clean and rub into either carpet or upholstery, they have bristles on this brush as well. So the next thing in the box is, ooh, this is one of the new different tools that makes this Dyson a little bit different than the V11. So this is their anti-tangle screw head. It is a specific tool that's attached onto the Dyson. And what's really great about this and the new technology is that it's kind of tapered here that you can see. So basically what it does, and here at the end, you can see there's no attachment. It basically guarantees that there would be no hair tangled into this attachment, which is really exciting because obviously if you do have lots of pets or you have long hair like me, just vacuuming up all that and not having it tangle up in your Hoover is just so much easier to clean. And I just would love to give this a go and it is their newest tool and newest attachment that is only sold with the v15 the next thing in this box is another tool let's open this up this is by the feel of it a very soft bristle brush and tool so this would be really really great if you're just dusting around your house and you want to go on any soft services or like you know the, the tabletops or anything that you don't want to scratch this would be a great attachment the next thing in this box is actually, I think this is the attachment that you put on. Yeah, it is. So this is the attachment that you add on to the wand bit of your Dyson. And what it allows for you to do is actually add any additional attachment onto your Dyson. So you're obviously going to have an attachment at the end of your wand, and then you can carry another one on your Dyson if you are cleaning up around your house and you want to use multiple tools to do so. Cool. I think this is, yep, this is the next new thing that is exclusive to the Dyson V15 and it is the anti-tangle comb and this is designed for carpets and hard floors so it's both you can actually use this across both types of floors and what's really great about this is that it's pretty well advertised on there it says it's an anti-tangle comb which is again exclusive to the v15 you can see in here there's those little red markers and those red markers actually comb through the hair that you vacuum up and it makes sure that there's no tangle on the brush itself which is again super key if you have a pet or if you have long hair this is really exciting and you can actually open up this front part here or obviously close it as well if you are vacuuming something like the carpet and you don't need that additional pickup of any you know large debris you can just keep it open or closed or neutral and i'm excited to try this out because this is an exclusive tool just for the v15 and another reason why i purchased the v15 instead of the v11 awesome i think that this is the tool that everyone's curious about because this is the tool that no other dyson owner with a v11 or a v10 has and this is the new detect tool that's exclusive to the v15 detect technology which is a very soft head it's only meant for hardwood floors and there is a button here or a lever that you can turn off the laser or turn on the laser and the laser is just here. And what it does when you have it on is the laser will actually go across your hardwood floor while you're vacuuming and it'll show you any sort of dust, particles, any small little bits that the human eye cannot see. It'll show it to you and I think it's a bit gimmicky to be completely honest, but I know a lot of people are really excited for this tool and I know that having something like this makes cleaning a bit more fun and I have a lot of hardwood floors so I'm excited to try this on my hardwood floors as well. Cool, the next thing in this box is the charger, which this is a UK three prong charger. It then just has, you know, where you plug it in to the battery, which is a, another reason why I bought the V15 over the V11 is that the battery is actually detachable. So the next thing in the box is actually where you hang the Hoover. So if you wanna actually hang your Dyson on the wall, it's totally possible to do. And when you have this docking station, what happens is the Dyson will end up sitting in this docking station and will charge whenever you're not using it. And these are the different parts in order to dock your Dyson. And finally, the last thing to showcase is the actual vacuum cleaner itself. 
Wow, this is the Dyson V15 Detect Absolute. Oh, Ooh, it says only use when fully charged. And this is just indicating that this vacuum cleaner isn't fully charged yet. So I have to actually charge it up before I showcase it to you. But this is the Dyson V15. And if I just, yep, that's how you empty the bin out. You can see here that it's a bagless vacuum cleaner, also something that I have not had before. So here is everything that comes in the box. As I said, there is the actual Dyson motor or the actual vacuum cleaner. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six different heads. So guys, I have now put together the V15 with the soft nozzle head. This is the one that's specifically designed for hardwood floors and has the new technology in it. I am so excited to start using this. I cannot believe I actually have a Dyson vacuum cleaner. A few last things that I wanna talk about this vacuum cleaner that I learned in the process of buying this. So first of all, the filter for the vacuum cleaner is up here at the top, like you can see here. And this is both the filter for the intake as well as the outtake of the vacuum cleaner. And this is something that you have to actually wash and clean once a month. I learned that at the Dyson store. So what you do is once a month you remove this, you wash it under you know hot water or warm water, and then you let it dry for a complete 24 hours before you start using it again. Do not, do not, do not put this back on your vacuum cleaner until it dries completely because then you're gonna just ruin the motor of the vacuum cleaner. Another thing I wanted to talk about with this vacuum cleaner is why is it the V15? I know a lot of people online have been asking why the V15 and not the V12, 13, or 14 because the last version of the vacuum cleaner was the V11, which is a very popular brand. But the reason why V15 is because Dyson obviously engineers its motors. It's really known for its motors. And the guy at the Dyson store was telling me that the V12, V13, V14 went into their other products. So their motors went in the version 12, 13, and 14 of their motor went into other products, not their vacuum cleaner. So the V11 was the motor that they put into the V11 vacuum cleaner. And now they've done a few different motors that they put into different product. And they now have put the V15 into the newest Dyson vacuum. And the final thing that I want to talk about about this vacuum cleaner is it has three different modes that you can use. There is a low or eco mode, there's a medium mode, which is an automatic mode, and then there is the boost mode. So everyone has been telling me that you can move around with this vacuum cleaner in the auto or medium mode. It will detect what level of suction that you need to actually use. So for example, if you're on hard wood, it'll use less suction. And then if you move on to carpet, it'll actually use a deeper suction. And that is really, really awesome because it's a battery saver as well when it auto detects those things. And very few people have mentioned that you need to use the boost mode because that's a very, very high power of suction unless you have a really dirty area. The last thing I wanted to mention about the V15 that is the new technology that Dyson has come out with is the detect technology, which on the screen up here, which is the LED screen that you see when you are vacuuming, it will actually show you how many dust particles you've picked up from the thousands, tens of thousands. It just shows you and gives you a little bit of science behind your cleaning, which again is another maybe a little bit gimmicky thing from Dyson, but I think it's really exciting because it obviously gives you a little bit of satisfaction that you are cleaning up a lot of stuff around your house. Anyways, guys, I am so excited about this vacuum cleaner. I cannot wait to start cleaning. I'm actually gonna charge this up right now and start cleaning right away. If you guys wanna see any future videos of me cleaning my house, if you guys wanna see any other videos of me using my Dyson V15, please make sure to smash that big red subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you know exactly when my next video is going live. And if you guys do like clean with me videos or me unboxing stuff or sharing the new products that I am buying for my house, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to create more content like this for you. Anyways, guys, I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Happy cleaning if you are using your Dyson V15 or any other Dyson vacuum cleaner, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.